Hey, what's up AP Calculus? I want to do a problem for you that deals with half-life and differential equations. In fact, it's from section 6.4 of this textbook, Calculus, Graphical Numerical and Algebraic, 3rd edition, Fitting to Mana Weights. So it's on section 6.4, it's number uh, 21, so it's a uh, <coughs> differential equation problem dealing with half-life. Half it says the radioactive decay of samarium-151 can be modeled by the differential equation dy dt is negative 0.0077y, where t is measured in years. Find the half-life. Okay, you're given a differential equation uh, dy by dt is negative 0.0077t. Uh, 77y rather. dy by dt is negative 0.0077y and t is measured in years. Find the half-life. So this is an equation, this is the differential equation that you can solve by separating the variables. So we're going to divide both sides by y and multiply both sides by dt. So we have dy over y is negative 0.0077 dt. We then integrate both sides with respect to the variable that's there. So we're, we're, or we're integrating this side with respect to y, integrating this side with respect to dt, or with, with respect to t. So the integral of dy over y is the natural log of y plus some constant I'll call c1. And the integral of negative 0.0077 dt is negative 0.0077t plus some other constant C2. And really we can just subtract C1 from both sides to say that the natural log of y is negative 0.0077t plus just some constant here. Okay, so this is good. We should then exponentiate both sides. So keep these as powers on e. So e to the natural log y is e to the negative 0.0077t plus c. So I get y is equal to e to the negative 0.0077t plus c. Okay, so here I have e to the sum of two numbers, which is to say that y is equal to e to the negative 0.0077t times e to the c e to the c, this number is just a constant. It's just a number, right? So I'm going to call that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let e to the c be equal to k, some constant k. Then what we have is y is equal to k times e to the negative 0.0077t. And ultimately, they ask you for the half-life. So what you should realize is that at time equals 0, when you plug in a zero for t, the initial amount is k. So we can find the half-life by plugging in k over 2 for y. So if we let y equal k over 2, then k over 2 is equal to k times e to the negative 0.0077t. And this will tell us, we can solve this equation for t, and it will tell us at what time, if we had k if we had k initially, at what time will we have k over 2? That will tell us the half-life. Okay, so I'll divide this equation, both sides, by k. So I'm going to erase this half of the board here. So divide this equation, both sides, by k, and you get 1 half is equal to e to the negative 0.0077t. Uh, Take the natural log of both sides, and we end up with the natural log of 1 half is negative 0.0077t, and then divide both sides by negative 0.0077, and uh, there you have it. So t is equal to the natural log of 1 half divided by negative 0.0077, which I think was about 90 years. Time was in years. Okay, good. So that's number 21 from this section, and... Um, Hopefully that helps you solving some of these separable differential equations. 
Uh, let me know if you have other questions.